Hey guys, so on the day that I filmed this, it was Saturday the 18th and I had went to the Strawberry Festival in Unicoi, Tennessee. And these are the buckets of strawberries that I bought and I turned them into jam. Okay, so I'm using the ball cookbook that I opened in the video, um, I think it was Friday of last week. And what I have done is I've taken the first, um, the first bucket, I guess, of strawberries, and I cut the tops off. And that's all I've done, just cut the tops off. And I actually put them in a bowl. I'm going to save them, and I'm going to do something else with those so nothing is wasted. So now the recipe says to put a single layer into a flat pan like a... Um, what is this called? A pie plate, a glass pie plate. And then you're going to smash them with um, a potato masher. So I've rinsed them already, cut the tops off. Oops, that is a leaf. Um, and now I'm just going to start mashing them with a potato masher. I probably would have used something else had I been at home, but let me rinse my hand real quick. So, I'm going to try to do this. I left my tripod at home completely unprepared, as in single Jessica fashion. So, you're just going to mash the berries, and you're going to mash berries until you get five cups of mashed berries, which should be about eight cups of whole berries, let's hope. So, I'm just going to continue mashing these, and I'm going to mash the other part of my berries and then we'll get them on boiling with the sugar. All right, so all of my berries are mashed. Well, not all of them, but five cups are in here and I'm gonna add one package of Sure Gel Premium Fruit Pectin, which is like this big, and four tablespoons of lemon juice. I don't have a fresh lemon, so we're gonna do um, this kind. So I'm going to add that in, and I'm going to bring it to a boil. Can you hold this for a second? I'm going to switch cameramen. All right. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. Okay, this is a half a tablespoon, so I'm going to do eight of these. I kind of cut the top, so it's spraying everywhere. Probably kind of hard to see because it's yellow, but there's eight. All right, so I'm going to turn this guy on medium high and we're going to dissolve the pectin and bring it to a boil. Yeah, once it comes to the boil, ooh, her stove hurt heats up a lot faster than mine. Um, once it comes to a boil, then we're going to add in seven cups of sugar. I offered to make some of this for my aunt. She said she didn't really like it. She doesn't like jam with seeds in it, but that I can make it for my uncle. He's a diabetic, so we decided that was a bad idea. Maybe he I'll look for a... Yeah, he would eat it all at once and then probably go into a diabetic coma. So I can't have that on my shoulders. So it looks like I don't see any more white spots. I think I got the pectin all dissolved. I'm going to bring that to a boil, and then we will add in our seven cups of sugar. Then how long does it take? I don't know. I've got to look at the book. Okay. Because I need to know how much time i got to finish. All right. Mom is stirring. There's cup one of sugar. Cup two. 
to. We need that little thing you've got to put the cup in the jar that you want to go. Did okay. you not buy it? No, I have one, but I left it at home. That's the canning funnel. Yep. Was that four? Yeah. Why did you talk to me? Look at your movie and, and see. All right, here's five. shy so the last one so I'm just gonna put a little bit more in there. Alright there's our seven cups of sugar so we're gonna dissolve it all and bring it back to a full hard boil stirring constantly and we're gonna let it boil for one minute. Then we're gonna ladle it into jars. I wasn't able to find ball jars at the store um, I know it's not canning season, they probably won't come out till fall, so um, I ended up getting, what they, Anchor Hawking, so still a good brand, I was just hoping to get ball jars, but those were $5 per half dozen, and they're four ounce jars, so half pint. At this point, it looks a little more like Getty sauce. Now, this foam that's starting to come up, I know that doesn't look really pretty in jars. I have heard that if you put a little bit of butter in there, that that helps so you don't have to skim it off. My mom also said she never did that, but I think I'm about to put a little pat of butter in there. And since I only have one hand, I have a softened stick of butter, not margarine, but butter. And I'm just going to stir that guy in there and hope that it works. I don't know, it has, I guess it has something to do with the reaction to the sugar because um, I know that when I make sweet tea, um, that's how I know if I put the sugar in or forgot the sugar because it kind of foams up on top. My mom was a little reluctant to let us make jam over here today. Mom and I had to promise to uh, clean up the, the kitchen mess. She's not feeling well enough to help us, but she has just a little bit of that butter left. Um, she has came in to check on me and told me that that's not how she does it a couple times. But now she's on the phone with a friend, so she's preoccupied. I'm not sure that I think it's done much with the, maybe I didn't put enough butter, because it's still got some um, still got some foam on top. I don't think it hurts it, I just, it doesn't look as pretty in the jar if it's got a little fuzz on top like uh root beer does. I've got my lids in a simmering pot of water. I'm actually going to turn them down now. We're just going to keep those warm.
Yes, and I'll come to each jam in the next month. Peach and butter or something, maybe. I don't know. I like cooked pears, but I don't know if I've ever had pear butter. Oh, I've had peach butter. So it's still boiling, but it has not came up to a hard boil. Alright, so I did skim off some of the the fluff, but I'm just not going to worry about it. This is for me. If it was going to be a gift, it might be a little bit different. Here we go. And Here's another pop so we're going to fill this up to um, a quarter of an inch from the top of the jar, which looks like it's going to be right at... Somebody want to measure that? It's Five not. spoons? It's probably pretty close, Jessica. All right. So, scoop me another one over. Okay. This has got to be clean, though. Let's see. It. I hear Mamma breathing. I got and that's all. We have strawberry goo on her countertop. Hurt her. <gasps> I'm gonna get it. I'm sure it would not. <laughs> Alright. And you put that on the video. There's two fill. I don't know how that's getting so much on the jar. Unless she's dragging it. Dragging what? The blue thing across the jar. I'm trying to be careful. I think you could find something better to give to me. Like a soup ladle. Like this right here. And this would have been that full and been just about enough and been having to get so much. I've got more important things to do. Can you switch my funnel? All right, I'm going to fill the rest of the jars, and I'll let y'all know how many we came up with. With five cups of mashed strawberries, seven cups of sugar, a pack of pectin, and four tablespoons of lemon juice. So this is what I got out of my um, first experience with jam. I've already taken off the bands um, because they sealed um, yesterday after the strawberry festival. Today is actually Sunday evening. I've not felt really great today, but I wanted to finish up this video so I can get it up on Monday. So I ended up with eight, um, eight ounce jars. And then I actually had one of this size jar that was about half full. And, uh, I let a friend be a guinea pig and I gave that jar to him. So this is what I ended up with. It is, let's see what happened. Maybe that's a little bit better. The color is so, so pretty. And it tastes amazing, so really happy with how it turned out. These are going to go in my pantry. And um, May is when strawberry comes in. Next month will be peaches, hopefully. South Carolina peaches, I think, are the best. Uh, a lot of people think that peaches actually come from Georgia, but the majority of the U.S. peaches actually come from South Carolina. So... Um, I'll be hoping to find some South Carolina peaches. I hope there's a really good crop this year because I want to make some um, peach preserves, maybe some peach uh, cobbler filling. Uh, so I want to do a lot with peaches this year, but I am super happy with my first canning experience. Uh, so it, now is strawberry season. Go out, get yourself some strawberries. Again, the recipe came from my ball cookbook. Um, it is actually the one that is called The Complete Book of Home Preserving, and I will link that below. Uh, and these, I couldn't find any ball jars. Um, I know a lot of you guys know that I live kind of in a rural area without going to the next town. So um, 
these are actually anchor hawking jars, but they're still little jelly jars. So I'll be on the hunt for those. I know it's a lot hard to find jars in a lot of places unless it's like fall when everyone is canning and preserving or in summer. But uh, these worked out great. So make yourself some jam. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.